spring cleaning here. So I went to my closet and found my extra wetsuit. It's, uh, it has like more than 10 years. Uh, it's still in good shape. I don't know if I fit in it. So that's going to be the interesting part. That's the test here. So if it doesn't fit, it's going to be probably send out to Goodwill or something. We'll see. So I don't know if I even remember how to put this on, but we'll try. Legs first, put it above your cap. Find a seat if you can. Find the other leg. Here we go. I'm a pro, right? So far, knees are in. Next. <laughs> okay. This is the hip test. Okay, here we go. Something is giving. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Get the booty nut that I have a lot, so it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> but it's not going in. <laughs> Okay, legs, legs, legs. Here we go. Stretch. Okay, one hip is in. Okay, okay. I don't know. Ouch. That was rough. Okay, second leg. Okay, stretch. Still stretch. bought this one because Xera is pretty cool and I like red and black but okay let's put this one away arms arms are in not yet okay good stretch oh my gosh I think I have a blister how much work to put this on is to tell you the truth I only wore it a couple of times because I dislike wetsuits and I usually get a panic attack when I'm in there okay it's almost there hair has to be out okay <clears throat> the problem here would be how to sit zipper is in I still feel like the butt, the butt needs a little help here. <clears throat> needs to be. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Stay with me. Almost there. It needs to be in the right place, otherwise it doesn't close. <laughs> Let's fix the hair first. Let's close it. Here. Yeah. Maybe I have a wider back. It is. It has been 10 years. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a little help. Don't you all need help on you? Try this on. Let's uh, fix the arm because it still has wrinkles in it. Let's put the shoulders. I'm, I really have a, a blister. Uh, okay, that feels better. Let's find the shoulder. Let's see. Okay. 
Maybe this is as far as I'm gonna go. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to need help to close this. here it did close I still have a waist and a back so I guess <laughs> I don't know I am going to try a skin next time because this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be and uh, definitely <laughs> like I am super compressed if I eat right now I might not be able to digest anything so now I cannot even expand my chest this is it though it still works legs I can can I swim I am done. I'm gonna need help again. Usually in a race, one gets help from all the volunteers to take your swimsuit off. Oh my God, it's like 10 degrees cooler out here. Don't try this in the summer. Not in a garage without AC. I didn't turn it on so we can film. So, ooh. okay. I oh, am really really got a blister crazy Deep breath and one two and to do a triathlon in the winter I'm probably going to get um, a skin instead of a wetsuit I've never been one to like wetsuits anyway so I'll keep it for a little bit longer because it still fits right would you agree with me and uh, we'll see I don't expect to use it anytime soon <laughs> but now you have it, this Xterra suit has been in my closet with, uh, it's been cool in my closet, so it has lasted all this uh, decade and the rubber still holds, compress and keeps me from breathing, so surely it's doing its job and uh, it hasn't ripped, which is amazing, so this was built to last. Xterra, good job. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that uh, all the wetsuit technology has improved since 2010 or 11 when I bought the suit. So I'm pretty sure that uh, there is something better out there. But in the meantime, I'm fine like this. I'm gonna swim in the summer. Take care <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe.